Shalom, I'm Saint Jeremy with Saints of Israel. All right, and this lesson is going to answer the question: Why did black people go into slavery? Why did black people go into slavery? Because many of you black people today use our ancestors uh, being enslaved as um, a reason for you to not believe in God. Use that as a, as a reason, as a justification. You try to say the Bible's a white man's book. You use all these kind of uh, justifications to not believe in God and not believe in the scriptures, okay? But the Bible explains why we went into slavery, all right, as a people, okay? Because many of you ask the question, okay, where was God when we went into slavery? Uh, why, why did God allow slavery to happen to us? So you use that to, uh, to try to describe the Bible, but you cannot describe the scriptures, okay? And this is going to prove that, all right? I'm going to go to uh, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10, all right? To show that you cannot describe these scriptures. Okay, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Okay. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times of things that are not yet done. Now, what does it mean by um, from ancient times of things that are not yet done? The Bible existed before the transatlantic slave trade. Deuteronomy chapter 28 was written before the, the transatlantic slave trade, okay? Okay, so this Bible was around before we went into slavery, all right? Okay? The Bible is a very old book. So it, it predicted that we were going to go to slavery before it happened. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Okay? So God said he's going to do all his pleasure, okay? The scriptures cannot be broken, okay? All right? Now, why did black people go into slavery? All right? Going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 11. Going to read verses 26 to 28. All right? Well, first, let me go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1, to show who God is talking to. Is God talking to all races or to a particular people? Let's see. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hazaroth and Dizahab. So, okay. So God spoke to the Israelites through Moses, all right? Spoken to all 12 tribes, okay, right? Through Moses, okay? Using Moses as his messenger, okay? Now, going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 26. Going to read all the way to 28. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verses 26 to 28. Behold, I set before you this day a blessing. A blessing is a good thing, right? A good reward, right? A blessing and a curse. Curses are bad things, right? So blessings are good things, okay? Are, are good rewards. Uh, curses are consequences, all right? Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. 27. A blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. And a curse if you will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day, to go after other gods which ye have not known. Now, how how are people uh, gone over, uh, gone to other gods? Many times. Okay, our people uh, did it during our captivities. Uh, our people uh, did it in uh, Jerusalem. Our people did it uh, after seventy uh, after seventy A.D. After uh, our people uh, were forced to flee into Africa, okay, our people did then following um, the African customs. And today, when our people go into Christianity, serving white Jesus, which is um, uh, an Italian man, right, Cesar Borgia, right, and uh, following Islam, so following the, the the philosophy of the so-called white man and the uh, Arabs, right, our people have followed other gods. 
to this day, all people uh, do that. Okay. All right. So God said that we'll get blessings for following the commandments and we'll get curses for breaking the commandments. Okay. For not following uh, God's commandments. Right. Now, Deuteronomy 28 expounds upon that. All right. Okay, there's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. All right. All right. Let me read uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Okay. It's going over uh, the blessings. Okay. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently, meaning what? If we will listen diligently, we will carefully listen, right? If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, what is the voice of God? This Bible, okay? The laws of God, okay? Hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. See, we were meant to be above all people, above all nations, okay? We were meant to be the top richest nation, okay? Real quick, we're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, okay? There's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people to the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee, chosen who? Us Israelites, to be a special people to himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See, we were never meant to be equal to the other nations. We were always meant to be above all nations, okay? But what happened? We were cursed for breaking the laws of God, okay? That's what happened, okay? Now, we go over these curses. We're going to go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Get us read verse 15, okay? So, I kind of went um, over um, us getting blessings for keeping God's laws, but... Here, here's uh, the curses part, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, meaning what? If we do the opposite of what God commands, right? So there's the opposite. So Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 15 is the opposite of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, right? But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Overtake thee. I'm going to read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right? So let's go over uh, these curses, right? Let's go over the, um, let's see. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, okay? There's a book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, all right? Going into slavery, right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, before the Suez Canal, right? Before the Suez Canal was constructed, okay? There is no need to take ships uh, from um, Israel to Egypt, okay? You can just walk there. There were both there. It was one landmass, Okay? before the Suez Canal was uh, formed, okay, in the 1850s, all right? And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with ships. Right, so what is Egypt talking about? Is it talking about the actual land of Egypt? Let's find out. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. There's a book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt, in this context, means house of bondage. Mean what? House of slavery. Okay, so Egypt, in this context, means slavery. All right? Okay, I'm going to go back to Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 68. This book of Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, slavery, again, with ships. Now, which people went into slavery with ships? A so-called black people during the transatlantic slave trade of 1619, okay? That's when a so-called black people were rounded up by the Arabs and the real Africans, right? They rounded us up and sold us to the so-called white man, sold us to the uh, Europeans who are the Edomites, okay? The children of Esau from Genesis chapter 25, verse 25 uh, to 27, Okay? 
okay? So yes, we were sold to the so-called white man, right? All right? And the Lord shall bring into Egypt again with ships, okay? So the white Jewish people, they were never taken uh, into slavery with ships, okay? But who did that happen to? That happened to us during the transatlantic slave trade, all right? By the word whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Okay, we want to see Israel again. Okay, so this is how you know it's not talking about uh, those white people in Israel right now. It's talking about us. Okay, so those people, the white people in Israel right now, they're, they're not the Israelites. Okay, this is not talking about them at all. Okay, that shall see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Oh, oh, oh yeah, you didn't know the white man was your enemy. You didn't know the so-called white people were, were your enemies, right? Okay, do, do friends... Pack y'all slave ships like sardines. Uh, will you debit carry yourself? Uh, throw you off the sh throw you off the ships. Sharks were following the slave ships because so many uh, uh, bodies of uh, of black people were thrown off. Sharks actually followed the slave ships. Okay, all right. Um, diseases and all that stuff. Do you think friends do that? Even. Even after we got off the slave ships, okay, beat us, torture, tortured us, worked us from sun up to sundown. Do friends do that? No, enemies do that. Okay, changed our names. Okay, took away our identity. Do friends do that? No, enemies do that. Okay, so yes, the so-called white man, the so-called white race, are your enemies. Okay. They're not your friends, okay? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We want to sail homeland again, right? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. Bondmen means slave men, and bondwoman means slave woman, all right? And no man shall buy you, meaning what? No man okay, would uh, save us out of, this, um, out of this condition that we're in, okay? Marcus Garvey can save us. Dr. Martin Luther King can save us, okay? None of these black leaders can save us. The only one who can save us is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, according to Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 or 6, and Revelation chapter 1, verse uh, 14, uh, Revelation chapter 1, verses uh, 11 through uh, 15, okay? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, is the only one who can save us, all right? Now, in case you need to be further convinced that this is talking about us, right, in the transatlantic slave trade and not uh, the so-called uh, white Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Jewish people um, in Auschwitz, Germany, I'm going to go to 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46 to 48. Okay? Let's see what this sounds like. In case you're not convinced, this is talking about the so-called black people. All right. There's a book of First Kings, chapter eight, verses forty-six to forty-eight. If they sin against thee, they who as Israelites, right? If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives. Captives. What do you mean carry, carry the us away uh, captives? Slavery, right? Captivity means slavery. All right, and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives into the land of the enemy far or near. When did that happen? During the transatlantic slave trade of 1619. Okay, did this happen to all races? Were they um, taking the slaves and distributed uh, throughout the world? No, that happened to us. Okay, so that they carried them away captives into the land of the enemy far or near. Verse 47, yet if they shall bethink themselves, mean what? Remember who we are, right? Remember what's commanded of us, right? Yet if they shall bethink themselves in a land where they were carried captives, where were we carried captives to? America, uh, Europe, uh, Central, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, Asia, many places around the world. Uh, the Middle East, so-called Middle East, all right? We were uh, distributed all throughout the world, okay, through the transatlantic slave trade, okay? All right? Yet yeah, they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent. Repent means what? Turn back to the laws of God, right? And make supplication 
Make supplication means to pray, right? And to thee and the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned. Okay, what is sin? First John chapter 3 and 4. Sin is breaking God's laws, okay? We have sinned and have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. Verse 48. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. Okay, so America is the land of our enemies, okay? Um, Europe is the land of our enemies, all right? Um, the so-called Middle Eastern countries, the Arab world, those are land of our enemy, lands of our enemies, okay? Okay? Which led them away captive and prayed unto thee toward their land. So we're supposed to pray to the east, pray to Jerusalem, right? Which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Okay? So, I said, you know what? Let me go on to... Uh, Verse uh, 49 and 50. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them captive. So God will uh, be compassionate towards us in the sight of these other nations, okay, who took us into slavery, all right? Mainly the so-called white man, all right? And give them compassion before them who carried them captive, that they may have compassion on them. All right, let me read verse 51. For they be thy people and thy inheritance, which thou brought us forth out of Egypt from the midst of the furnace of iron, okay? So I read all the way to uh, verse 51, okay? First Kings chapter 8, verses 46 to 51, all right? So you wonder, okay, where was God when all this happened? Why did God allow this to happen? Okay? Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. And yes, the answer is because we transgressed uh, God's laws, okay? We broke God's law, all right? But God spe specifically tells us, okay, that he was going to turn his back on us. Um, we won't go through our affliction, okay, until we repent. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. I will go and return to my place. Okay, so God said he's going to turn his back on us. He ain't going to uh, deal with us no more, right? Till they acknowledge their offense. Okay, so said until we repent, right, and acknowledge what we did wrong, that we've sinned and done perversely, right, until we admit that stuff, guess what? God said, oh, I ain't dealing with them, right? So God said this, Hosea chapter 5, verse 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. Mean what? Seek God's laws, okay? This is how we seek uh, God's face, by going to God's laws, okay? By going to this Bible, Okay? In their affliction, they will seek me early. So, okay, so when we go fall to hell, right, go through slavery, uh, even today, uh, being murdered by the cops, okay, going, um, enduring uh, racial hatred, okay, hate crimes, discrimination, okay, being on the bottom, okay? God said, and all that, it will take all that for us to seek him early, okay? So the whole point is for us to, to return back to our God. Now, you blacks probably feel, oh, that's not fair. How can that happen to us and not all the other races? Well, in fact, it did happen to uh, Native Americans, but guess what? Those are our people. The so-called Native Americans, the so-called Indian tribes of North, Central, South America, those are our people also. Okay? They went into slavery on ships also, okay, uh, taken from the Americas to uh, various places in Europe, like uh, England and Spain, okay? They were taken on slave ships also. Look it up. Okay, research it, okay? But you wonder why, okay, how come uh, it happened to us and not other races? Okay. Amy chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Okay, this answers the question why this happened to us and not all the other races on earth, okay? Because all the other races, you know, they um, continually break God's laws, okay? But here's what God says, okay? Amy chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. 
Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So this is specifically talking to the 12 tribes of Israel, so-called black people, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So uh, of all the races of people on the earth, the Israelites are the only people God recognizes and acknowledges, okay, and respects. Oh, oh, you feel, well, God does not, God's not respected of persons. God's not respected of persons among the Israelites. I'm going to go to Exodus chapter 2, verse 25. Because some of you try to uh, quote that uh, and think it means that God ha doesn't have a respect of persons among all races. No, no. Check this out. Exodus chapter 2, verse 25. There's a book of Exodus chapter 2, verse 25. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. So God has respect unto us, okay? God sees us as above all nations, okay? God only recognizes us, okay? Us Israelites, the 12 tribes. I'm going to go back to Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family. Us Israelites are a family of people. We're not a religion. Okay, we're a family of people, a racist people, a bloodline, right? Which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only, this is God talking, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. It's like when uh, you're a parent, right? Okay. This, for those of you who are parents, right? Okay. When you have your children play outside, right? And you see your children, well, before you let them go play outside, you tell them, okay, I want you all to be home before 6 o'clock p.m. Before 6 o'clock p.m., all right? So you tell them that before you let them go outside and play with their friends, Okay. Then, okay, you let them go outside, play with their friends, right? And then uh, 6 o'clock, actually, let's say it's 6 or 5, right? You go outside, right? Because you, you were waiting on your children to come back home, right? So you go outside, it's 6 or 5 p.m., right? Your children still aren't home yet. So you go outside, you see your children uh, playing with their friends. Who are you going to reprimand? Are you going to reprimand your children or are you going to reprimand all the other children, children out there? You're going to reprimand your children, Right? Okay, you're not going to remember being on church. Okay, so that's that's God's mentality, okay? God, God's reprimanding us because we're his children. Oh, you thought every race is, uh, you thought every race was God's children? No, that's, that's not what the Bible says. In fact, uh, let me get Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. Real quick. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh... Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Okay. So the Israelites are the children of God, not all races. Okay. It says the same thing in Romans chapter 9. You can read that on your own. All right. So we got in trouble because we're God's children. We're the ones under the covenant. Okay. So the blessings um, apply to us and the curses apply to us as well. All right. Okay. The Bible is like that note that par that a parent leaves uh, on the refrigerator for their children to follow. All right, you know how uh, there's a list. Okay, okay, it's telling the children. Okay, um, let's say it's a list of chores. Like for example, it's like okay, I want the kitchen clean. Uh, I want the um, the living room floor vacuum. So like that. Okay, that list was made for that parent's children, right? Okay, so God made a book of commandments for us Israelites. All right. So we're the ones who got in trouble for not following. You understand that? Okay. So that's why we went to slavery. That's why this happened to us and not all races. All right. Okay. But what's the repentance though? We know the we know the problem. Let's get to the solution. All right. Going to go to Acts chapter three verse nineteen. So we know that the issue is that we broke God's commandments. As a people, so therefore we went into slavery and we'll go through all the hell that we're going through right now as a people. All right. But what's the solution? Okay. What's the way out of this? Okay, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. 
This is the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. What is sin? Breaking God's laws according to 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Okay. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when at times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right? But how do we repent? How, you know, how, um, how are we converted? So, how are we converted? Psalm chapter 119, verse 9. Okay. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So, okay, we get cleansed by what? Taking heed to this Bible and following it. All right? Okay? So, part of repentance is what? First of all, listen to the scriptures, right? Getting fed with these scriptures, being cleansed with these scriptures. Okay? And what else? Going to go to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. All right. There's a book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 16. Wash ye, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. You know what? Stop sinning. Stop breaking God's laws. All right? Okay. So what's required of us as a people? Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Actually, yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verses 12 and 13. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God, okay, it says our God, thy God, not the God of all races, right? And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, okay? All thy heart means what? Our minds, right? Our brains, okay? With all that heart and with all that soul, verse 13, this is how we do that. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes. Statutes are sub-laws, okay? Which I command thee this day for thy good, okay? So keeping the commandments is for our good, all right? You understand that? Okay? The Bible says we will get blessings uh, for keeping God's commandments. Uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 11, Deuteronomy chapter 11, verses 26 to 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1, okay, those show that we will get blessings for keeping God's commandments, but um, we will get curses for disobeying God's laws, all right? So we, so here's what we have to do, okay? Revelation chapter 14, verse 12, okay? So it's required of us by God, right? Okay, God requires of us to keep his commandments, all right? Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Okay, this is in the New Testament for you Christians. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Yahweh Shai Masak. Not thy wife, do not seize our Borgia. Okay, you have to believe in Christ as the scriptures have said according to John chapter 7, verse 38. All right. How do the scriptures uh, describe them? Uh, Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 and 6, Revelation chapter 1, verses 11 to 15, okay? Hair like wool, wool, white afro hair, right? Skin as if it burned, in, skin, uh, the color of the skin, uh, so dark as if it burned in a furnace. Like brass as if it burned in a furnace, okay? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, that's the Christ we're to believe in, okay? All right? All right, I'm St. JDL Ben Israel. The sins of Israel, shalom, and be blessed in the Most High God in Christ the Black Messiah. Shalom.